Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. This is a conversation heart to heart and consciousness with itself. So, how is everybody doing? I have noticed there is a lot of collective fear going around, especially the last couple of months. It's getting more intense and I feel the need to be talking about fear today. And this is not talking about um, immediate fear for your life. So like you're standing in the street and a car is about to hit you, that is a different type of fear. Okay, that is a survival fear and that is necessary in order to keep you safe in this physical reality. Right? This is talking about fear that is created up here. That can be phobias, that can be other types of fears. Fears that are not immediately affecting your safety and health and life, yes? This is fear that is created up here and then affects your mental, emotional and physical health, okay? So this type of fear, again, could be phobias. The core fear of fears, if you want to call it that, is existential fear uh, fear for safety or lack of that fear for um, not having enough uh, means to be living fear for not being able to provide enough to be living fear of losing something or somebody yes fear of um, for with health issues Yes, um, this type of fear usually starts here and it starts with whatever you put your focus on. So if you focus on a lot of fearful stuff out there, yes, like all this um, fear mongering and fear propaganda that is going on then that is what you will hold in your mind and what will then create levels of anxiety, stress, and most likely fear. So it will affect your whole nervous system. And if you're constantly living in fear, you are constantly living in fight or flight mode. And that affects again, you mentally, emotionally, and physically. So fear, the opposite would be fearless or brave or courageous. Uh, fearless does not mean you have no fear because as the word says, it's not no fear. It says fearless. So you have less fear or rather I would uh, describe it as a state of where you do not let your fears run your life, where you do not let fears determine your life yes so that doesn't mean you're completely fear free it doesn't say fear free it says fear less yes where you are in a state of awareness where you do not let fear determine the course of your life okay to get to a point of that it is very helpful to realize internally and comprehend consciously that we are not this physical body, that we are not just this little tiny human in this perceived external reality. Yes, that we go way beyond anything and everything, that we are beyond space and time, and that there is no reason to fear really anything in this world because again and I spoke about this before whatever you put your attention to your focus on yes is what you will be manifesting and bringing into your life because if you focus on something if you put your attention on something you're allowing that into your life into your field into your reality whatever you want to call it yes so if you focus on a lot of fear agendas fear propaganda yes fear mongering 
then that will be allowed into your life and you will be seeing more of that coming into your life since you put your focus on meaning you're giving your permission yes for that to appear in your reality so um, that doesn't mean to completely turn a blind eye of whatever is perceivedly going on in your external reality but also know that fear is used as a tool to control the masses always has been yes and as long as we're buying into that always will be it is up to us to put an end to that it is up to us to take our power back it is up to us to stop fear mongering fear propaganda yes um one way of it is to stop participating in all of it Yes, that doesn't mean turn a blind eye. And I keep saying that over and over. You do, it does not mean you're turning a blind eye. It just means you do not give it any power. You do not give it any attention. You are aware of it, but you do not participate in it. Yes? So, also, the awareness that fear comes from here, that your mind is what is creating the fear that then takes over your mental, emotional, and physical health, yes? So it comes down to what stories are you believing with your mind? What are you holding in your mind that then creates fear, yes? So if you have a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, it doesn't matter what type of fear, it uh, helps to look at where is this coming from, yes? If you have a lot of existential fear, where is this coming from? If you look at people who are brave and courageous and seemingly fearless, they usually are very much in tune with themselves and their whole reality. They usually are very aware of what's going on and are in control of their mind, their thoughts and therefore are also in control of their emotions and their fear, at least for the most part. And they do not let their thoughts, their emotions, their fear run their life. They do not let their mind dictate the story of their life. Yes, they are very centered and come from a very balanced uh, heart space and they do not uh, buy into whatever their mind is telling them, whatever the perceived external is telling them. They do not buy into all that fear propaganda, all the fear mongering, yes? They are above it. And to be above it, you have to realize whatever it is that's going on in your mind, because that's what's creating all the fear, yes? And then you, you find it out there in your perceived external reality. So whatever it is that you're afraid of, it helps to acknowledge it and get down to the bottom of it. Why am I afraid of that? What is making me afraid of that? Yes. And it again usually comes down to existential fears like not having enough or not being safe, not feeling safe. Yes. Um, not being able to provide. Uh, fear of failure. Fear of change. Fear of... Uh, risking something, fear of losing something or somebody, yes. Um, a good deal of being brave or courageous or fearless is really the ability to let go and to detach. That again doesn't mean turn a blind eye or ignore, it just means to have a higher vantage point, a higher view, a higher perspective of things, yes? And not attaching to all the stories that are going on and that are going around, yes? Because that's what that is, it's stories, yes? And um, the ability to let go and not attach to any of this and also not attach to what you perceivedly have, yes? So because once you start accumulating more and more stuff, then you start 
being fearful of losing that unless you detach from all the stuff that you accumulate. Yes? So it's really about um, the ability to detach and let go. And that will uh, not necessarily eliminate a lot of fear, but it will get you to a position where you rise above it. Yes, and not attached to everything, not attached to all the stories, not attached to all the fear mongering, mongering all the fear propaganda. And that will get you in a position where you are more level-headed and are more in control of your mind, your thoughts, yes, versus letting your mind, your thoughts controlling you, because then that will produce more fear, yes, because the mind in that sense likes to be dramatic and just uh, if you look at the headlines and the news out, out there, everything is dramatic. Because again, fear controls the masses. It's a very effective tool to control the masses. Yes? And um, the masses will then, when in fear and buying into fear, manifest and create what some characters out there are putting out there in order to manifest and create what benefits them, not what benefits the masses. Yes? It's very simple. Wherever you put your focus and your attention on is what you're drawing and allowing into your energetic field, into your reality, and that will then create. Yes? And if you allow fear into your life, it will create more fear. Yes? Because the external is a direct reflection of what we're holding within. And if we're holding a lot of fear, stress, and anxiety, that's what we're creating out there. Or participate in creating if you so want. Yes? It, it's all a matter of what you're allowing, what you're willing to participate in, what you're putting your focus on. Again, it's not about turning a blind eye, it's not about ignorance. It's about rising above, yes, being aware, but not participating. This external world really does not need your participation. Your participation should be here within you and with your immediate, let's say, family or friends to create the best possible opportunities, scenarios for your own self and your immediate surroundings, family, friends, like co-workers, yes? That's where your focus should be and your attention should be, yes? And uh, not giving away your power by buying into stories that are being put out there as a control tool, as a control mechanism. Yes? Um, another good way to stay above it is really to go within. And if you are aligned with your soul, spirit, higher self, God, creator, source, the universe, whatever you want to call it, if you're authentic within, you will recognize the illusions and fear-mongering that is going on on the external world and you will recognize it as no truth, as not to be authentic, as to be false, to be lies, to be illusions. Yes? Again, illusions to be used to control the masses if you so want. This is a game of consciousness that we are playing out in this perceived external reality, what we call the world, yes, and it will play out, but it doesn't need your participation, yes. You do not have to be constantly living in fear. Hmm? Again, that doesn't mean you're completely fear-free, that just means you rise above it and you do not let fear control your life your actions, your thoughts, and your emotions, and your words, yes? Because people who are constantly in fear and live in fight or flight mode usually either get very to the point where they cannot function anymore because they're so scared, or they start turning violent out of fear, just like an animal that gets cornered and starts turning violent, yes? 
So you have either or, you have either non-functioning because you're so scared and in fear that you cannot make clear decisions, that you have brain fog going on, or you have the other side where people turn violent um, because they feel they have no other option, um, because they, they feel they have to fight something constantly in fight or flight mode and they have to fight something. Now know and realize that you are playing this game of consciousness with yourself because there is only one consciousness here, one light of awareness that is coming through every single physical body, physical and non-physical. Everything is that, yes? It's one light of awareness, one consciousness, yes? But in this game level that we're at here, we do not recognize this for the most part, yes? Many body minds are not aware what this is and then they think they have to constantly fight somebody out there on the outside on the external yes now there is no other there's perceivedly other bodies out there but it's all operated through by the same consciousness by the same light of awareness by god creator source the universe whatever you want to label it yes so basically what this is saying is you are playing a game of chess with yourself so there is no winning there is no losing there is just the playing out of this gameplay, yes? And it is up to you, and it is in your power to decide whether you want to enjoy this gameplay or whether you want to live in fear and be miserable and be suffering and be living in fight or flight mode, yes? That decision lies with you, with every single physical body. It comes down to your awareness and your alignment with your soul, spirit, God, creator, source, whatever you want to label it, yes? You have that power to rise above fear and not let it affect your life, not let it affect your reality, not let it affect your mental, emotional, physical health, yes? It just, it takes the awareness to realize this is all you out there. It is you here, within, and it is you without, out there on the outside, yes? So if you feel the need to fight somebody out there, you know you are fighting yourself and there is no winning or losing, yes? So it, it really comes down to what would you like to create in this world? Do you want to participate in creating health? Or do you want to participate in creating heaven in this reality, in this world, for humankind? Yes? And if you would like to see heaven on earth out there, you really need to start bringing your focus back to yourself because this is where it all starts. Yes? This decides within what you're creating out there. Yes? Again, what, what do you focus on? What are you buying into? What are you believing to be out there that you're then allowing into your reality, into your field, into your energy field, or into your life? Yes? Because whatever you put in your focus on, you give permission to reflect back to you. Whether that's a verbal permission or not, it doesn't matter. Whether you're aware of it or not, it doesn't matter. If, as long as you're focusing on, on it, that says, I give you permission to reflect back to me. Yes? So if you're putting your mind on a lot of uh, fear-mongering out there, a lot of uh, um, fear propaganda, it doesn't matter in what field that is, whether that's political or whether that's the healthcare field or whatever it is you perceive to be out there. Yes? If you're putting your focus and energy onto fear-mongering and fear propaganda out there that some characters have put out there to control the masses, then you're buying into it and you're allowing it into your life. Yes? Again, it's the awareness of what is there, but that doesn't mean you have to participate in it. Yes? That doesn't mean you have to allow that into your life. That's why we have free will and choice. But you only have free will and choice when you're authentic and when you realize what this is out there. Yes? When you realize what purpose this is serving, what agenda this is there to, um, to accomplish. It's the same. It doesn't matter what, um, what field you're looking at. 
yes? But know that it all comes from one consciousness. And it depends on the physical body, how this is playing out then, yes? How it's coming through, yes? Whether it comes through distorted and in fear, yes? And you experience hell on earth. Or whether it comes through as your authentic self because you have that power to bring God, Creator, Source, Spirit, the universe right through your body. And it will reflect back to you as heaven on earth. Yes? So you have that power. You have that power and you have the power if you feel that you do not like what you see out there. You have the power to switch that and rise above it and change it just by changing what you hold within. Yes, I spoke about vibration in my last video or in one of my last videos. What's your vibration? And uh, you raise your vibration here. You That will reflect outwards and will raise the vibration of your external world, your reality. Yes, because as I said before, the point of us being here is not to get out. Yes, we come from out. We came here for a reason. We came here for a purpose. Yes. And the point is not to make it out, but to bring this whole reality that we have created here and that a lot of people perceive as to be uncomfortable, to bring that up in vibration, yes. And then that will be what people like to call heaven on earth, yes. But for that, it needs to, again, it starts here. It needs to come through the physical body because this is what we created here, a physical reality, yes. So that power lies within you, where you put your focus on, hmm? what you're allowing into your field, yes? Are you letting your mind control you or are you in control of your mind? Because again, fear, if it's not threat to your immediate physical body, if it's not an immediate life threat, usually fear starts here, any phobia starts here, it starts with your mind, yes? And there's there's physical evidence for that but I'm not even gonna go into that yes all other fears start here what your mind is telling you or what you put in your focus on and you're believing to be on that external world if you're buying into that fear propaganda yes the fear mongering then that's what you're allowing in your life hmm? so again that power is within you do you want this in your life or not yes it's whatever you allow to come into your life, into your field, into your reality. Hmm? We had um, recently uh, a lot of fear mongering and propaganda about a hurricane supposedly coming through Florida. And I hadn't even heard of it because I don't watch the news. I don't watch fear porn, fear mongering, fear casting because that's what newscasting is, is fear casting. Um, so I hadn't heard of it, but people were talking about it um, at a store and my reaction was, not in my reality. There's no hurricane in my reality. And there was none. There was none here. We had a little bit of rain and a little bit of wind and that was that. Hmm? Again, you have that power. You have that power to allow or reject whatever you want to see out there in your reality. Whatever you want to allow or reject for your life, you have that power. But as long as you're focusing on all of that fear propaganda, you're allowing it into your life. Yes, and then you're participating in the creation of more fear. Hmm? So again, what do you wish to create in your external world, in your reality? Okay? It all comes down to here. Yeah? Okay, if you have any questions, leave a comment, leave a message, and I'll be happy to answer that. And um, you feel free to check out some of my other videos. I have spoken about fear before, but I don't remember making a whole complete video of it. It may have been a couple of years ago, I don't know. Um, but it just came up now into my field, and I just felt the need to make another video for it. So. Thank you for being present. I appreciate you. The light in me recognizes that same light in you, for we are all one, one, just one, one consciousness, one light of awareness. Yes. I see you, I appreciate you, I honor you, 
I love you. Namaste.